Today let's take up accounting for share capital and uh, we'll do issue of shares at premium first. Now whenever shares are issued, uh, either the shares can be issued at par, right, or they can be issued at premium or they can be issued at a discount, right. Okay, now supposing we say that the value of the share is rupees 10, right, is rupees 10. Now if the shares, if the shares are issued at rupees 10, then they are issued at par, that is the same value. If the share is issued at rupees 12, it means that they are issued at a premium of rupees 2. And if the share is issued, let's say for uh, rupees 9, then it is issued at a discount of rupee 1, right? Okay, now we will take up this issue of shares at premium. So if the issue price is more than the face value of the share, it is a premium, right? Now whatever is the amount of premium, the amount of premium received, right, should be credited to the securities premium reserve account. Remember this, right? Uh, and the securities premium reserve will come under the reserves and surplus in the balance sheet. Okay. Now let's look at the accounting treatment of this. Suppose the amount of premium is rupees 2 per share, right? Uh, now, there are, uh, this is the application money, allotment money, right? These are the installments we have. First call, second call like this, right? Normally, the premium is called for either with the application money or with the allotment money, right? And you should remember that if the question doesn't specify anything, then it is assumed. That is, if the question is silent, right, as to uh, premium is received with which installment premium is received, right, then it is assumed that it is received with the allotment money only, right. If the question specifically says that it is received with the application money, then we will put it along with the application money. If it says that allotment money, then we will put it in the allotment money. If it doesn't specify anything, we will take it in the allotment money, right? Okay, now see. <clears throat> Supposing the amount of premium is received with the application money, right? Okay, now the first entry here is bank account debit to share application, the amount of money that you receive. This will be including the premium. So I'll take up a small example here. Supposing I have <coughs> 10,000 shares issued, 10,000 shares of rupees 10 each, right? Issued at a premium of rupees 2, right? 
and the application money here is rupees 3 or I'll write rupees 5 including premium right now see here bank account and here let's say 10,000 shares it is fully subscribed that means you have got 10,000 shares right so bank account debit to share application will be 10,000 into 5 the whole amount that is 50,000 right this is the money that you receive on application now after that when you transfer this to the share capital it will be like this share application account debit that is 50,000 right to share capital will be only the face value of the shares that is 10,000 into 3 that will be 30,000 and this premium money that is 2 rupees premium for 10,000 shares is 20,000 10,000 into 2 so that will go into the securities premium reserve two securities <coughs> premium reserve account that will be 20,000 rupees right so this 50,000 out of this 50,000 30,000 is transferred to the share capital and 20,000 is transferred to the securities premium reserve account right now this is the case when it is received with the application money if it is received with the allotment money in that case now the previous example we had 10,000 shares of rupees 10 each at rupees 2 premium now uh, let's say application is rupees 3 allotment is rupees 5 including premium right so now here the application uh, the entry for the share application will be the normal one when you come to the allotment it will be like this Shared allotment account debit to share capital account to securities premium reserve account. This is when the allotment money becomes due. So here you will have share allotment account. This is 10,000. 10,000 into 5 is 50,000. To share capital here you will have 30,000 and then you will have 20,000 here right and when you receive the money it will be bank account to share allotment account that will be the whole thing right 50,000 bank account debit to share allotment account the whole amount will come 50,000, 50,000, right? Normally, the premium is called for only with the application of the allotment money. Uh, premium will not be carried to the first call or second call, right? Okay, now let's do one small example for issue of shares at premium. Okay, let's take up this. Supposing we have Arun Enterprises Limited issued 20,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each at a premium of rupees 2 per share which is payable as rupees 3 on application rupees 6 on allotment and rupees 3 on the first and final call <clears throat> we have to make the journal entries for this all the shares were applied for and duly allotted right okay now see 
the total of this 3 plus 6 plus 3 it comes to 3 plus 6 9 plus 3 12 so it includes the premium of rupees 2 now since nothing has been given the premium is taken along with this allotment right okay now let's come to the entries the first one bank account debit to share application account how much 20,000 shares into 3 so that is 60,000 rupees then this is transferred to the share capital account share application account debit to share capital again 60,000 now we come to the allotment this is share allotment account debit now here the amount on allotment is rupees 6 this is 20 so 1 lakh 20,000 right 20,000 into 6 1 lakh 20,000 2 share capital account to securities premium reserve account right okay now see here 2 rupees is the premium so 4 rupees is the uh, actual amount then 2 is the premium so 4 rupees that is 20,000 into 4 is 80,000 and 20,000 into 2 is 40,000 so here you will have 40,000 right after that bank account debit to share allotment so that will be the whole amount 1 lakh 20000 right then you have first call that is um, share first and final call account debit to share capital this is when it becomes due so it has been given as 3 rupees so 20,000 into 3 is 60,000 right here it is 60,000 60,000 right and then bank account debit to share first and final call account 60,000 okay so this is how we will do the question on this um, premium and uh, if the question asks you to show the balance sheet right then in the balance sheet this uh, under equities and liabilities under equities and liabilities you have shareholders funds right in shareholders funds you have share capital in which the actual share capital will come and then you have reserves in surplus right now this amount in this case it was 40,000 securities premium reserve was 40,000 so this reserves in surplus under this reserves in surplus we will show this 40,000 rupees right so this is how we deal with issue of shares at premium right I have shown you both the cases when it is received with the application money here and it is received with the allotment money either of the case right and this is an example in which the question is silent as to when the actually it's not silent basically it doesn't specify it it doesn't say including premium here but when you total this this is 3 plus 6 plus 3 right so it is assumed that this 2 rupees is on the allotment only right so the question doesn't say anything it is assumed that this 2 rupees or whatever is the amount of premium is on the allotment okay so with that I end this session on issue of shares at premium bye